extra, extra. No, I'm not doing it this week. I'm, I'm just kidding. Welcome to the Mantis Show. I'm your host, Mantis. Welcome back for another week of fun or something. With me today is my co-host, Box Watterson. What's up, man? Oh, uh, not much, man. Just chilling. Yeah, there's a little too much too much info there. Doc, what about <laughs> you? Hey, man. My audio engineer, Doc. Yeah. All right, guys. Back again for another week. Another week of... Too much content to get out in an hour, so we're probably going over today. This is going to be a long... Get this, over it. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode, just like last week, whenever it's an hour and 20 minutes in, we're like, oh, oh well, it's about time... week before. What? Man, I don't... Dude, I don't... I drink too much to remember little details <laughs> like that. I told you, my my frontal lobe, my cerebral cortex... His, his small is mantis fucking, brain just can't... It doesn't have the, the memory capacity. No, the, my, my female mate does. ate my fucking head, so I just don't know what... <laughs> oh, it, fuck. Anyways, anyways. So, dude, this week, you know, I usually bring in little tidbits of little pieces of my life to you guys and allow you to have a little insight into what my day-to-day life is like. This week, I, there's there's too much that happened. There's there's just too much to cover in one episode. I'm going to try. I'm going to fucking try to squeeze this shit in here, but it's probably not going to happen. And anyways, I want to I want to start off by talking. Dude, last week I I brought up I brought up my cat. Yeah. You guys are all familiar. The tomato thief. Yeah. Yeah, you're all familiar <laughs> with how this cat can just single-handedly ruin my fucking life. And everybody that knows me knows this cat has a, a supernatural ability to to just wreak havoc. <laughs> <laughs> he wreaks havoc. Well, dude, he really, really, really railed me in the ass this week. Worse than the tomatoes? <laughs> dude, oh my god. You know, you guys know how I feel, <laughs> how passionate I am about my tomato plants. He loves his tomato plants. And this is this this is this tops it, dude. This is icing on the cake for him. This is amazing for him. So, he is a super long-haired cat. His his hair gets like six inches long. It's it's unnecessarily long. Six, seven inches. It's He hawks up hairballs the, the size of my gallbladder. Well, is a gallbladder big? I've, not really. My pancreas. You act like I'm a doctor or something. <laughs> the size, he hacks up hairballs the size of my pancreas. <laughs> and, and so, we've got to get this cat shaved every... I don't know however many months. I don't count. I just look at him and I'm like, "Hey, this this guy is really, really getting fuzzy, and he's hawking up hairballs everywhere." I, I woke up one morning and I there were, I found six piles of vomit of hairballs. That's when I knew I was like, "Okay, this." Uh, I, I saw literally he left like a breadcrumb trail. Like, was it Little Red Riding Hood that did the, one of the fairy tales that leaves the breadcrumbs to get back home? Yeah. Well, he does that with fucking piles of vomit whenever his hair gets too long. <laughs> <laughs> he he leads a little little path over to Hansel his bed. Hansel and Gretel. Ah, yeah, that's the Hansel one. and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Well, yeah. anyways, so I've got him appointment an appointment scheduled to go to the groomer and get his ass shaved and get a bath and all. just his ass, not the rest <laughs> just his ass. <laughs> they're trimming they're trimming his balls hairs. He has a nice he has a hot date, and I'm just trying to get him prepped for it. Man, trying, I'm trying, trying, trying to get him to move out of the house. Get him to move out with a girlfriend. Is he trying to get some pussy? Oh, oh that, I had to do that. I'm sorry. That was that, that was in bad humor. That was fucking, yeah, real <laughs> Dad clever. jokes. Yeah. So, Onwards. <laughs> anyways, so before I take him, I take my dog out. A dog takes, you know, does a number one, number two's outside, and then I come back inside, put my dog in the in the kitchen behind the dog gate, and here comes the challenge of putting my cat in one of those carriers. It's impossible. Dude, you've seen it. You have seen it. I mean, it. just all cats. No, they, no. This one, though. They usually love boxes, but boxes with a with a, a, they, with they a can't cage in them. front of it, they they hate it. They will, they'll never go near it. Well, my cat is ex- especially, it's especially true for him. Well, I spend about 30 minutes trying to shove him into this little, this little container and and he starts to make this noise. He knows when he's going to the bed. He goes, rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah, he man. makes all sorts of <laughs> devilish demon demonic noise. sounds. So I finally get him in there and I take him out, put him in my car and I'm driving off. And you know, the whole time, rawr, rawr, just the entire time on the way to the, the, the groomers, the groomer lives. It's literally five minutes away from my house, not yeah. even five minutes. So I'm sitting here and I'm driving and I'm trying to do whatever I can to comfort him. And all of a sudden, he's just, I, I start smelling this musky, pungent smell. 
Oh, no. I'm like, dude, no. I'm going like 50 miles an hour. I look into his cage. He is pissed everywhere. <laughs> pissed. Oh, no. There's literally, there's like three centimeters of fucking piss in the bottom of his carrier. Oh. Three, and, and to make matters worse, as if that wasn't bad enough, I'm picking up the carrier to try to keep it from getting all over my seats. Well, he starts taking his paws, his long his long haired in need of a trim paws and he's soaking up the piss like a like a piss sponge <laughs> and he starts pressing his fucking hands up against the, the side of the cage like one of those like one of those fucking inmates at a prison that throws piss on the guards and he's like yeah. squeegeeing it like a sponge squeezing it outside of the cage and piss is running down the side and I'm like oh my god I'm driving 50 miles an hour and I'm trying to keep cat piss from invading every Every stitch of fiber in my front seat. Well, I get to the I get to the groomers, and I'm like, man, do I? I I've, I'm I'm met with a dilemma. I'm immediately met with a dilemma. Do you a Do you just carry on like things are normal? B Do you do you tell the groomer, hey, he uh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had an accident and I don't know if it was an accident or not I think it was on purpose yeah it wouldn't surprise me with him yeah so I don't know what to do I sit in the parking lot with 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 a with a bucket of piss in my right hand <laughs> for like 10 minutes I'm like man do I do I do I tell him do I tell him that they should expect a better tip like what do I do to make this how do I get through this situation so I just walk in and instead of normally I sit him on the counter I sit him in the floor and I'm like hey yeah he's uh yep Mm-hmm. And I try to just act oblivious, act like I'm I'm not really looking at the cage, so they can't pin it down on me. They're not just like that son of a bitch. We're gonna we're gonna leave the 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 cat. We're gonna leave the dingleberries attached to the cat's ass on there just out of fucking spite because this <laughs> dude knew what he was doing. Does so I just drop him off. I'm just like, oh, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe hopefully hopefully karma doesn't come back and bite me in the ass and. And rep- the world doesn't repay me for this this injustice I've put upon this this grimmer. So I'm driving home, and I, I walk inside. First thing I smell shit. Oh uh, yep. I'm like great. Karma is a bitch. That's yeah. what they say. Yeah. So I look in the I look in the kitchen. My dog is shit. A lot of shit. Whole whole lot of shit and pissed. And she's eating part of her shit. Oh my god, it's just a trifecta of Yeah, fucked. yeah, oh, so man. so I clean that up, and 30 minutes go by, I'm like, man, you know, I, I feel fucking bad. I don't even believe in karma, but this shit's starting to convince me. The, the circumstances the, the of... The smell of the shit yeah, is starting the, to the convince you of literal. karma. It's yeah. changing the chemistry in my brain. I'm starting to become more more spiritual by the, by the moment, by the whiff. Well, my dog likes to sit on the back of my couch... And out of nowhere, she just vomits. She vomits, shit vomit. Shit vomit mixed with dog food, mixed with whatever else is inside of a fucking stomach. And it goes all down the back of my fucking couch and into my floor. All I hear, it sounds like somebody just poured out a can of beef stew onto the fucking (laughs) behind it. That's what exactly what it sounds like, if you can picture that. Yeah, so I'm like, there's no good way of cleaning up any type of filth like that do you get a towel do you get fucking paper towels do you what do you do about the vomit that is soaked into the fabric of the back of the fucking couch and it goes it, oh the worst thing it went in between one of the cracks oh, no. oh dude I, I think at that point it's just like you throw everything away get a new carpet just change your name move to japan exactly you know just the whole nine yards there's there's nothing you can come back to well, that's essentially what happened. Essentially, I just i i grabbed so i grabbed like five towels. I'm throwing it on there and wiping it up, spraying shit. I'm like, man, this is this is just fucking karma. This is karma coming back and bite me in the ass. Never again will I do this. And I and I and you know what? I swear, I don't think they gave him a bath. I don't think that they gave him a fucking bath because and I don't think they shave. They didn't shave him the way they normally do. So I think I think these people are are out to get me. Well, I think it's because you tried to fuck him. I didn't try to fuck him. The cat <laughs> fucked me, so it was a secondhand fucking. He was yeah. forwarding the fuck. Yeah, I was. I was just <laughs> passing it along like a like a fuck piss pyramid. Like early two thousands chain email. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, you know this just brings me to something, something that I've realized is right now I'm on like a little mini vacation right now. I got a little bit of time off work. 
you know, a week or so. And a man cannot have a fucking day off. Never. I can never just come home, sit down and relax and not have 1500 fucking things that I have to do. Every, every, I feel like I'm walking around my house and I'm being Mr. Fucking Mom. I'm sweeping and mopping and I'm like changing the diapers on our fucking animals. Tending uh, to his tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah tomatoes. To, I'm out there pruning my bushes and shit and picking up dog lumps of dog shit, white crusty dog shit out of the fucking yard so nobody steps in it. I'm not made to be, I'm glad I'm not a woman and I'm glad that it, that I'm just not destined to be a housewife because I can't fucking take it. I yeah. seriously can't take it. And Sounds miserable. <laughs> yeah, so I start to, you know, you start to find little things you, you do to, to kind of relieve yourself of the, the everyday uh, monotony of just being in the house and cleaning all day. He just likes to put on a sweater, <clears throat> drink some drink some tea from a with both hands both hands on the cup and just watch some bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, even even worse than a bad movie. It's like though. a cheesy mom. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where's my lifetime at? <laughs> yeah. Young and the restless. Oh god, that's my shit. <laughs> so I've decided that, you know, I normally do some of these other these these things that I'm about to tell you about anyways, but it's more so now that, you know, I've got a few days off. So I woke up the other day and we went to this, uh, this, this flea market. It's like this really big flea market. They have it every like once a month, once or twice a month. And it's from the summer to the fall and it's the best fucking flea market in the world. Swear to God. So you go to this flea market, they've got beer, they've got 15 food trucks. They got beer on tap. They've got every sort of thing you could ever want to buy. And it's actually good shit. And you want to, you want to buy it. Well, I go there, and first thing I do, what do you think? What do you think is the first fucking thing that I do? Oh, you get a beer, obviously. Grab a fucking beer. So I grab a beer, and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty much like a beer aficionado. I know what most I know what an IPA tastes like. I know what a pale ale tastes like. I I know what different beers you the 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 mouthfeel I get the little the little nuances the little herbal flavors. That, that coat my palate as I the drink. The levels of bitterness. Yeah, and... the alcohol content. I, I know all that. Yeah, yeah. So there's this pale ale that catches my eye, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. I get it, and it it's unlike any pale ale I've ever had. It tastes like ass. It tastes like straight <laughs> fucking ass. I paid $5 <laughs> for this fucking 16-ounce or 12-ounce beer. I don't, I don't know. I don't measure my drinks in ounces. But anyways, so I get this beer, and it's fucking awful. It's an awful fucking beer. And I love most beers. Most beers, beer's beer to me. Yeah. And this was not that this was not palatable to me. And that was just the start of a long chain of me having bad me trying to do something that I like and it just ending up bad. We go to this steakhouse, this big fucking steakhouse, and every time you go there, there's there's seventeen hundred it doesn't matter if you go there at three in the morning. They're not even open at three in the morning, and then there's a line of fucking people out the door waiting to eat there. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely re- it's preposterous. Gotta love those places. Yeah, so we <laughs> so we go in there, me and the fiance, and I order a nice big fucking twelve ounce steak. It's not that big, but twelve ounce steak. Get all my sides and everything, and I tell them I usually hang around medium rare to medium. Mm-hmm. That's that's usually my little range there. Yeah, that's that's a good range. Yeah, so I get I I'm. So, actually, before we even order our food, we're sitting in the lobby, this little waiting area, and, you know, they always play music in waiting areas, and most of the time, it's just Pandora or something that doesn't even fit the mood of the place. Yeah. Well, this time, I see a jukebox on my way in, and it's free. You can pick whatever song you want. Oh, yeah. So, I was about to do that, but I I decided against it. And we're sitting here in this little, this little confined, it's kind of this long, like a shotgun room. This room is like 30 feet long. It's got benches down it. Yeah, and they just, got, a, just a big waiting room. Yeah, they got these big barrels of peanuts where you get the peanuts. Well, the music, you could hardly hear it. And I think management, I think they realized that, so they started fucking with it. It turns up so loud to where I can't hear myself think. And all I hear is, I play chicken with the... Play chicken with the train train. I'm like, oh, oh my god! <laughs> it just it's playing so Cow- loud. Cowboy Troy. Yeah, and there's these old people that are like tapping their foot and they're like biting their bottom lip, like getting it. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is loud as hell. And it plays for about thirty seconds, 
And then it starts over, and it's louder. The song oh, just God. started. <laughs> it starts over from the beginning. It starts over from the beginning. I'm like, oh my God, this. I can't take this. This is giving me fucking anxiety. This is ridiculous. And then it starts over again after about another 30 seconds. Oh, my God. So after about 10 minutes of hearing this song, and it's not even the full song, it's it's that one line, I play chicken with the train, chicken with the train, constantly. It just keeps <laughs> looping. Oh, my God. Well, they finally they finally fiddle with it and get the volume down, but the song keeps playing, and they, they call us to our table. I order my steak. And about 30 minutes later, I get my steak finally and I go to cut it open. Well, well done. I might as well uh, be eating a fucking, mm. fucking chunk of leather. Mm. Oh God. I'm like, wow, this is really fitting the theme of my, my week uh, <laughs> with the, the piss, the shit, the piss, shit, vomit, but the, the shitty beer that isn't what they say it is. And this fucking steak is as tough as the. It's like the cow sat out in the sun and they didn't give it water. They just they just fed this cow and it had a, it had enough fat content going into its body to where it was able to fatten up, but they didn't give it any fucking water. It's Dude, like I, 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 it's a steakhouse. It's there's, a steakhouse. They're supposed to be able to make steak. No, no steakhouse can cook steak right. <laughs> exactly. They, they always look, get it I'm, wrong. I'm an I'm an in between guy on a lot of things, including steak, sexuality. <laughs> Like sexual preference? What? Gender? No, no, not that. Gen- <laughs> hey, gender's fluid. Okay, you can't be in between. Flu- no, I'm not. <laughs> Good God, can't even joke about that. Um, no, it, it's essentially I, I, I order my steaks medium, and yeah. apparently, no, no steak chef, cook, whatever. It's like can, they've never. Can, they can't of medium. fathom medium because every almost ninety nine times out of ten. I will get it at first, and like they just bring me the still like living cow, and they're like, "Here, just take a bite yeah, out of exactly. it. It cooked." I'm like, no, "That's a that's a living cow that didn't cook." They're like, "No, no, it's fine." And then I'm like, "Okay, well, can you cook it a little more?" And they're like, "Yeah," so it's just like just just a little more, and they, and they bring they, it back out, and then that, they bring me out they, this little dried out piece of leather. It's just like, oh yeah, yeah, a piece, a piece of fucking charcoal. Yeah, here's it's here's like your beef jerky. Char- yeah. And it almost Fuck. makes me wish that the guy, my waiter, no, it was another guy, came around and was like, hey, did you guys order the T-bones? And I saw these two big ass, like 22 ounce T-bones, and I was almost like, yep, it's me. <laughs> yep. He almost yeah. said that, but I looked at the T-bone, it didn't look like it had been cooked at all. It oh. wasn't even, not even a sear on it, it was like raw flesh is what it looked like. So I'm, Somebody's doing the caveman diet. <laughs> but... I I'm almost wish I would have taken that because I haven't eaten A1 steak sauce or any sort of steak sauce with a steak in as long as I can remember. No, this nor was, should you. This was the first fucking time, and I, I shit you not, six, seven years I've eaten A1 on a steak sauce. I mean, you I have A1 to. A1 steak sauce on a steak. You have to if it's well done. Yeah, it was so dry. There's it was no like flavor. I, it was like I was eating handfuls of, of fucking... Uh, Oh God, I'm having a brain bark, lap. Tree bark. Tree, no, not even that. Sawdust. Saw. It was like sawdust that I'm eating, dipped in this this fucking black black tangy gravy of a sauce. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Fuck. And and then as if that wasn't bad enough, I couldn't even I couldn't even enjoy that or try to enjoy that because there's some mom sitting behind me with their kid telling like mom mom jokes. No, yeah. Which I don't know what's if you guys. A, what's a mom joke? I know well, what a dad joke. Everyone knows what dad jokes are. What's a mom joke? Well, they're a lot worse than dad jokes. Oh man, dad jokes you can appreciate them. <laughs> mom jokes are like knock knock. Who's there? Orange, orange glad I didn't say banana. Like that's that's a mom joke. Yeah. And she had her phone oh. out reading them off. She didn't even have it. She didn't play it by memory. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Fucking I'm like, amateurs. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's why. And I looked, and you know, whenever I got up, I looked at the kid. And the kid was eating a hot dog at a steakhouse. I'm like, that's that's uh, what happens. That's what happens when you raise your fucking kid on mom jokes. They they become fucking hot dog eaters. They're the hot dog eaters of the world. And they eat hot dogs at steakhouses. You go to a pizza place, they get a fucking hot dog. You go to a fucking sushi restaurant, they get chicken fingers. Like that's that's what happens when you're exposed to mom jokes <laughs> as a fucking kid. Fuck. It's ridiculous. That, that makes a whole lot of sense. It does. Yeah, this was this was I think the steakhouse was like a like a Texas Roadhouse or something like that. Yeah, it was a Texas Roadhouse. And while we're walking out, attention everybody. We've got a birthday oh over boy. here. Clap, 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 clap. Yeah. Cla- everybody's clapping. I'm like, "Man, is this how f- this people in Texas don't 
don't act like this. <laughs> like, this is not how people, I'm pretty sure, I've never been to Texas, but my voice has. This podcast has been to Texas. Hey. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey. And in Texas, my listeners from Texas tell me, no, no, we don't just walk around clapping our hands in unison and and singing happy birthday and then prompting the entire fucking restaurant to all at once give a big Texas. Oh, my Yee-haw! God. I, I hate it. That's, uh, that's exactly what they did, dude. I, so fucking cliche. I wish it, it, in those, in those yeah. situations, I wish I was like one of those people who are more comfortable just causing a scene because i just like turn around I, I don't i don't even know just yell shut the fuck up stop reevaluate your life yeah i mean it's you're at a, a fucking public restaurant we don't need to be disrupt my eating does not need to be disrupted yeah, by i'm your, trying to digest in peace okay exactly you're your one day that you were born, uh, like however many years ago, hey, is hey, not as important as me getting this meal hey, into uh, me right now. Hey, uh, new, new slash asshole, everybody has a birthday. I know. Hey, I know everybody has a birthday. I kind of feel bad. I think it was like a seven year old kid they were doing. Hey, hey, asshole. Hey, jackass. Uh, welcome, welcome to the real world. Um, this, this, your birthday doesn't matter. When exactly. You, when, when you grow up, no one's gonna care. No one's gonna care if you and were even born. At, even at some point in that kid's life. He will forget his own birthday. Yes. Yeah, it's happened to me before. It's exactly, and especially if it's a dude. You if op- it's a dude, they will definitely forget their own fucking birthday. Yeah, and you, you opt out of telling your coworkers because you don't want a big deal made out of it. No, you don't want them spending money on you on like bringing in cookies or a little cake that says your name in cursive because then that that automatically obliges you to to do the provide the same courtesy to them. And as you get older, you like you like you said, you don't want to tell anybody. Because you don't want to deal with the bullshit. You just want to cut all the bullshit out of your life. It's like, am I really going to have to have this interaction do we, do with we... one of my coworkers if I tell them that my birthday is coming up? I don't want to deal with it. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't age. I don't have birthdays. You never have to worry about yeah, it. Then don't ask they, me. Then if they find out, like if they look at you on Facebook, creep on you, they're like, why didn't you tell us it was your birthday? It's like, oh, just because of this situation right here. Exactly. Because I don't fucking, you're... I don't want you knowing anything about me. I'm for, for all you know, I'm asexual. I'm an alien that was born that has a, that doesn't have a fucking belly button. I'm I'm from Uganda and and I I every time I take a shit, I have an unnecessary uh, prerequisite to my shit taking schedule, and it has to be on, taken on Mars. I have to take a shit on Mars every time. I, I don't. Most people, you know, there's some people they have their little thing to where they can only shit at their own house. Yeah. No, I have to be flown to Mars. I get up with Elon Musk, and he SpaceX sends me to Mars. And I t- that's for all you know. That's how complicated my fucking story is. You, you don't, know what? You don't I need thought details. Of something that is even way worse than those people at Texas Roadhouse who do the whole clapping thing and woo yeehaw and all that. The people that are worse than that are the people that you go to that restaurant on your birthday, or maybe it's not even your birthday. But they will tell the people there that it's your birthday so that people will come over and start clapping and then do the little yeehaw thing in front of yeah, everybody. You've got to act like, oh, <laughs> you've got one option. You've got two options. You could say, ah, oh, this is, oh, yeah, it's my birthday. You can go along and hope they give you a free dessert. Or you could just be like, oh, God, and just be embarrassed. And they, exactly. always, they always grab the light fixture and they, like, point it towards you. See? You can't even and see the... even f- on worse occasions, they'll bring out the little fucking wooden horse. And they're like, oh, you gotta ride the horse. Wait, what, what, are, you, what are you talking I've, about? I've never heard you of You all have never seen that? That happens all the time. No. They even get out a cowboy hat and they make you put on the cowboy oh, hat I've and get seen, on the wooden horse. I've seen... I've been to this Cuban restaurant when they were like, hey, come on up! And they're like, dun, 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 dun. they play yeah, these I've bongos so fucking loud. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, until until literally you re- until you're in there for more than five minutes there's and a, you see that it's everybody's birthday. Yeah, there's and a, literally dun, 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 everybody dun. goes there on their birthday. There's a sushi place around here that does that. It brings out a drum. Like they bring like a big gong. They're like. Wong. <laughs> Oh, so you know, a birthday. They bring oh, they yeah, bring one no. of those little bamboo things that fills up with water, and then when it fills up too much, it goes dunk dunk, and it empties. Oh, it, <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be the ideal thing. Something quiet, and peaceful. Just exactly. Dunk. You can just like you can let people know, but you don't have to be obnoxious. Yeah. How about you just give me my free grand slam, Denny's? And, exactly. And you, you cut the bullshit. How how about I don't have to bear the embarrassment of being the reciprocant of this. Of, of whatever you want to call it. singing 
Is it chanting? I don't know. And you don't have to bear the embarrassment of screaming in front of a room full of strangers. I'm not going to tip you. If you do that to me, I'm not going to tip you shit. So, what other shitty things has been going on with you? God. Anyway, I've... Well, we'll bring up a little, a few more shitty things later. I think it's about it's about time to move on. My blood pressure's up. You see that I'm beating with sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, well, on to mansplaining this week. Mansplaining is a segment where Box, Doc, and I, we take a subject that you think you probably know just about everything about, something that either a subject, an item, whatever, an idea, something that you have become super familiar with in your daily life, and we... we we provide a different perspective to it. You think you know everything, but you've only got the gist of it. You don't even have the gist of it. We poke holes in it. We poke holes in the very nature of reality, and we expose some underlying truths that you may have never, never thought possible. And some weeks we may not even do mansplaining, but most of the time I've got a lot of shit to mansplain. And fun note... Box and Doc never know what the mansplaining no. topics it's always, are. It's always a massive surprise. <laughs> they, they never know what my twisted psyche is going to pull out next. This week in mansplaining, fresh off, hot off the presses, loofahs. Loofahs? Loofahs. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a few little things going on in your head to where you, you kind of know where I'm going with this, but you don't. Because I thought I knew just about everything about loofahs, and I discovered something from going to these farmers markets and all this crazy shit that I go to that I, I never I, I could have never fucking imagined it B- box what what is a loofah just uh, a little sponge like thing to, to just to help you wash your body okay what what is it though I mean it depends on what kind you get where, where, do, you, where do they come from I don't, I don't know doc what do you got well where, where, where do they come from what's a loofah uh loofah factory yeah yeah but how do they make them with machines yeah, but what's the what what material what <laughs> fucking what you you contrary you fucking dicks listen I mean I literally it's a plastic I, I, I some sort of plastic so. or something I'm with I'm with I'm with a box here it's just, I guess it depends but there's all kinds of different I fucking ones. there's a loofah and then there's a not loofah do you know what a fucking loofah is a loofah is the like stringy fucking circular thing, cylindrical thing. They put them on fucking sticks and you can scrub your back with them. And sh- yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know what that is? You know, we're on the same page, right? Yeah. You know, uh, what are those made of? I have no idea. <laughs> you're, you're, you're talking to a man who... Uh, I, I never use my time them. What, with, you, just, you just use your fucking hand? Yes. You, you fucking literally, monster? Literally, I put my body wash... All uh, pour it on my body, and I just use my hands, and I just... You pour it on your body? <laughs> you just, like, you drizzle well, it on... Well, it's called body wash. I'm not gonna pour it on my fucking head... My, my hands. Well, like hand I've, I've, I've poured it on my hands and then rubbed it into my body, but I've never, I've never went full blown like cocking my head back, holding the bottle to the ceiling and letting it <laughs> yeah, drizzle on like me. one of those shampoo ads, like the hot candle wax in the fucking yeah. bedroom. Like it's not like like you're not pouring chocolate syrup on yourself. It's I, fucking. I, I like my showers to be erotic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's his, me. That's his. Uh, that's his little special time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna blow your guys' fucking minds. Seriously, this blew my mind. It, 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 it took me for a walk, man. Walk me like a goddamn dog. Not even joking. Loofahs are not made; they're grown. They're grown. Loofa, a loofa is a plant. It comes from a fucking plant. It's like it's like a zucchini. It's like a fucking zucchini. It's edible when they're small. <laughs> Swear you to eat a God, loofah? a loofah. It's like a giant cucumber zucchini fucking thing. A gourd, and sort of, yeah. It's it's okay. like a gourd, but it starts off being more like a cucumber. Hmm. And people eat these fucking things. And loofahs, once they get like once it gets to around the season, around September, October, in the end of the year, they get so big. The they season. yeah, they swell up and they start to dry out, and the outer skin flakes away. And there's this like this husk. This hollow husk, this fibrous material that is just re- that remains there. It's like a fucking tumbleweed, huh. and that's what a loofah is. Dude, a loofah is a loofah is a plant. You have been washing your body with a plant. I always thought it was some sort of weird manufacturing process to where they spray plastic string, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, loofahs are not made. They're grown. Ah, oh, that's fucking weird. Was well, it that they are grown, or did they just adapt the word loofah 
maybe back in the day it started as people washed themselves with an actual plant and then they just kept the word well, like, and then like started they, making them in a factory. They bring like a tree branch and there's a plant. And we said yeah. it like that. It just, <laughs> they, they, well, I mean, you said it was a plant. Well, Lufus, man, Lufus, that that part of Lufus blows my mind. Okay. It's something that's incredible and that, that makes me, it makes me a little more prone because personally, I don't, I use the like fake, like squishy Lufa things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, for for all intents and purposes, I'm going to include those into this mansplaining topic. But that was just a fun fact for the the actual real loofahs. Okay. Most of the time, whenever people think of loofahs, they think of the uh, the the pla- I, I don't know what I don't know what materials. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> the, plastic. Yeah. thing. It's like a plastic cloth. The ball of like mesh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it looks like a looks like a like a jellyfish thing or yeah. something like that. Well, those things, man. Fuck those. Fuck those things. Those things. Do you know how much, how often have you, re- do you guys replace your loofahs or your fake loofahs? It's usually like around the same increment of time it takes you to replace your toothbrush, which is probably way longer than recommended. Well, I replace yeah, my I, toothbr- toothbrush I, the, the loofah pretty thing, often. I think it's like maybe once a month. Once a m- What? Am I just a fucking pig? <laughs> <laughs> it, most of the time, it's just because we lose it. Lo- like, how, how do you, do you lose, lose it? it? Yeah, That's what I'm that? wondering too. What does it just does it just run the away? Fucking Lufa fairy comes in. The there's just sometimes little gremlins. There's sometimes I'll just go it. into the shower and it's just gone. Man, and then cat is coming in there and stealing it. And then a couple days later, we bought another one. I'm like, oh, who's okay. we? Do you have a mouse in your? <laughs> what did? What, well, do you have a mouse in your pocket? What the fuck is going on in your house to where loofahs just disappear? Dude, Dude, I have, I don't I have know. the opposite problem. Okay? <laughs> my my loofahs don't ever go away. My plastic loofahs, no shit. The one in my shower right now, yeah, I'm a disgusting fucking hog. Sue me. I have probably that the loofah that's been in there has been in there probably four or five, six months. I don't know how long I don't I don't care to count. I know those things can get really bacteria ridden. Yes. Yes. That's what you know. That's what I've come to learn, and I'm you're just so smearing you're... yourself in bacteria. Yeah, but the thing is, is I'm like, well, maybe I'm just improving my immune system. Maybe I'm just, yeah. maybe I'm just building up the my little guys, my home bodies, my little antibodies that are uh, live on my well, your antibodies don't live on your skin. My home, my bacteria, my good bacteria on my skin is like, I've started a fight club for them. And all, exactly, and, and all the old guys, all the old dead skin cells, come back for vengeance and try to reclaim their old spot on my elbow or my ass or underneath my armpit, and they fight the new guys. And it's it, like fucking, uh, it's like the Rocky series. Like you lose the first one, whenever you first smear all the bacteria on, you start to lose a little bit, but then they come back. They yeah. come back. The the comeback kids. Yeah, they, they they have a nice long isolated period on a distant planet. Far, far away from their homeland, <laughs> and then they're they're brought back with a vengeance. It's like a it's like a Star Wars. <laughs> exactly. Sequel. It's you know those those loofahs though. The biggest thing that pisses me off about them, because that's gonna be the main topic, the main focus of this mansplaining is those loofahs, man. If you use body wash on them, you can never, ever, ever, ever. You have a better chance of extracting all the bacteria off of it. Before you, before you're able to get the, all the soap out of them. Yeah, that's definitely true. Because I, I at least make an effort to try to rinse it off well enough and kind of wring it out. So it, whenever before I hang it up, so it dries out, and it, so I'm at least doing my part on preventing the bacteria. But the soap, dude, it's an endless supply of soap. I should stop buying fucking soap in the bottle because. Whenever I buy the soap in the bottle and I put it on this loofah, it it's like it, it it's like it turns into a form of sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction and the little soap particles start fucking budding like polyps in the ocean and they start reproducing and they just they just keep building upon themselves and I it's go to so rinse it off true. and then I squeeze it and more soap comes out and I rinse it off and more soap comes out. It's an endless supply of soap. You know what I do to stop that? It's a little trick I found out. What you do is you take the loofah. You don't shower. That's the, no, that's no, no, the no, trick. No. Don't you shower. You take the loofah that's just multiplying soap and you throw it. You throw it up against the shower wall and it, and it, I swear to God, it works. 
it like 90% of the soap that was the remaining, it'll just the inertia will just and it'll go all over the wall. What what about what, isn't that gonna get soap all <laughs> over the ceiling and all over all that dirt you just had on you is gonna flash yeah, back a, in your it's face? It's a sacrifice you gotta be willing to make. I mean, oh, you could throw it on the wall or you could throw it on on the floor. It, it just, just you just gotta throw it. That's see, the, the only see, way. See, this is why we have these conversations because I need to know everybody's tricks on how they just deal with normal everyday shit. It's like, what do you do? Oh, all right, here here's some. What do you do whenever ketchup? Is his fucking dried onto plates that you ate off of? Like, what's your trick for that? Since you got all these answers, I mean, I just run it under hot water, hot water and soap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, so, this so, I've really... come, so I've come to learn that some things I'm just fucked on. Yeah. Some things I'm just not out of the loop on. It's just this is the best thing that we have. Well, yeah. no, I have one that's way way better. Like what? Like apparently, I don't know how true this is, but I heard from another podcast that. Whenever people hear this, they get all... People are freaked out that other people do it differently. How do you all wipe your asses? Do you do do it sitting down or do you stand up? All right, so I'm going to start... I'll answer that, but we have really got into talking about asses and shitting. Absolutely. This this has turned into toilet humor. the, The past few episodes have been very ass and fecal matter heavy. That's true. I mean, that's just oh, something man. you gotta expect. Oh, well, how do you do it? How do you do it? I stand up. I, apparently, stand up. apparently, when I was listening to this podcast, it fucking blew my mind that people sat down. What you don't? You never? You never done the old, the old ball lift? No, oh. that seems so inconvenient, and in that you're gonna what miss you, so much. You go back to front. No, no. Look, See, that's I'm, what I was trying I'm to being, figure I'm out. I'm being devil's advocate here. I'm not saying I do it either one way or another. I'm just. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm with box. I stand up. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm glad we have a consensus well, I mean, here because I thought you that said, was fucking. You said weird. back to front. You don't have like a. You don't have a vagina. It doesn't matter if you get <laughs> poop particles on your yeah, but on you your don't, taint. You don't want shit balls. Shit, shit, balls, shit balls. Yeah, shit balls. That's probably way worse. Yeah. Dude, I just kind of man. I don't really think. I just kind of just fucking get it off of there. I have a bidet. I carry a bidet around with me all the time. I don't. I don't like. He's got a portable enema I, everywhere. Yeah, he goes. I have a portable. <laughs> I, I don't poop the way everybody else poops. It just kind of falls out of there, and it's just I've I've coated wait, wait. my ass cheeks in a hey. in a slippery slippery su- substance, a like KY a, jelly. Yeah, some KY jelly. So there's no residue so, afterwards. Put some KY jelly in this ass, huh? <laughs> no, but uh, don't isn't mantises? I mean, their ear is like in their butt. Yeah, they got. Yeah, a, that is true. <laughs> I just saw a picture. They got an ear. They have weird. an ear in their ass or something like. that. <laughs> to refer to our Twitter and you'll know what. Follow us on fucking Twitter and you'll know what we're talking about. It's not my fault you don't you don't listen to the cues we give you. If I say follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and now YouTube, damn it, he means it. <laughs> I mean it. We share memes on there. Yeah, I don't just do this shit because I to, to hear my head rattle. I do this so you'll actually take the initiative to give me the satisfaction of knowing someone's listening. I mean, and there's no better feeling than that. So, yeah. So, back on loofahs. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little sidetrack, but that's okay. Got a little sidetrack. Loofahs, man, they... I'd like to know exactly... Loofahs, that's one of those things to where, you know, people talk about if they die, and you're standing at the pearly gates. If that's true, and you're standing at the pearly gates, and you're talking to St. Peter, and he's got his book out, and he's telling you all the things, all the people you impacted in your lives... One, I want to know, like, how much of a certain food I ate, how many times I said a certain word, Dude. and I want to know, like, I'd like to know how many loofahs I've went. The average person goes through in their their entire life. Dude, I would love to see a stat sheet. Yeah, like just a, like yeah. a like, stat sheet like of a, random, like just random shit. Like, I just want to feel like I'm like a pro, like football player or something that got all my stats. It's like this is how. Like all the steps you've taken. Yeah, how many times you've said the, the word like? How many oh, times? Son of said? a bitch! You're right. <laughs> that is another good stat. Wait, let's put that one up on the board. That'll but, be that'll be above how many heartbeats you've had. But I would love to see like how many steps I've taken and like what that distance is. Like a Jesus pedometer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to know. All right, if I were to like just walk in a straight line, would I have reached the sun by now? You know, like if all of my steps. Cool. Have gotten like how how close to the sun would I have gotten? I like to think, I like to think of stuff like that sometimes. Like uh, 
how many hairs have fallen out of my head? Like if I were to string them together, how long of a rope would I have? Or I like, could I, if I took all of the poop I've ever pooped, can I make a great there wall it is of again. China? Can I make a great wall of poop, China? Like, <laughs> what, what, oh, I, what about you, a dog? You stat got the, sheet would be awesome. What, what, do you, what, what would you ask St. Peter, dog? Uh, what would be your the first thing, like, what would be the first thing you ask him about your life? I don't know. What about, a, what about how many cubic feet of farts you pushed out? What, that's a good one. <laughs> no. How, how long could I power an, an average American household off of the methane gas out of coming out of my posterior? Oh, that's a good one. Well, you ever, I, I, I really don't know. You ever get into that stuff looking at like um, how many average? How well, many bowls of macaroni and cheese have I eaten in my entire life? Because that's probably a lot. That's probably a real lot. You ever get into looking at how many um, like average household usage of electricity and stuff? Mm-hmm. No. Dude, that stuff's amazing, man. I, it's it's something that's really hard to research because you never know, you can never really get a, a a good kind of glimpse of like how much a kilowatt hour is or something. It's mm-hmm. like what is that in in toaster minutes? Yeah, you know how exactly. long it takes to how many pieces of bread can I toast with that or like how many Tostino's pizza rolls can I make in a microwave with with a thousand kilowatt? What what does that mean? People use all these words that they and all these these measurement these uh how, how do i even put that these um these little ways of measuring things yeah they act like average people are gonna know what the fuck they're talking about you know uh just to just to bring it back to loofahs i feel like i would ask saint peter i'd be like can i see a you know like the show how it's made yeah. it's like can you show me like an episode where they did that on like how to make a loofah ha- dude have you seen how they make um like brooms and brushes and shit? No. That shit's insane, dude. I watch I watch how it's made all the time. That really show like is so good. Oh, it is. I just hate I like it when they've got the guy that's like, oh, Louisville Sluggers, blah blah blah. Or he's saying something like that. Then they I like those episodes, but then they have the one where it's the girl who sounds like the female version of yeah. Microsoft <laughs> Sam. Yeah. And she's always like, blah, 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 blah. that's all I, that's all that I I can't fucking <laughs> I can't bear to listen to it. So it'll be something super interesting, like, oh, how, uh, how was, how was how life? nuclear reactor is? <laughs> no, see, how, I imagine how did life begin? And I'm like, I'm already tuned out. See, I, I don't want to hear it. I imagine a loofah is some somewhat similar to the Rick and Morty episode where they parried it, parried that how it's made. It's like, how do you fleeb? make a fleeb? The fleeb. It's, that's how I imagine they make loofahs. They're just like, oh yeah, you take the the schlim and you shake it out. And then <laughs> you shake it out. <laughs> you save it for later use. Just like shit like that. Because I have no idea how they could make that shape and make it something useful. Okay. What, what, what is that thing that you have? Oh, what? You have what? this tiny little bottle. The vial. I'm going to call it a vial. It's none of your business. <laughs> this, is my, this is how I get through the podcast. This is mine. I picked, mm-hmm. I picked this up today. I, I went to a little store. I, I got this today at a store. It's... You want, you want some? Well, what's it smell like? Just, hmm, just smell it. I don't know what that is. It's invigorated. It's like you, smell like, like you feel invigorated. It smells kind of like minty. Yeah. So smell, you, smell it. You just got this weird, tiny ass little bottle that it's, looks. It's it's eucalyptus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's eucalyptus. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why do you have a tiny bottle of eucalyptus smell? I don't know because sometimes when we do, when we do things like a podcast i don't and like we to, talk about loofahs you're just like i gotta get that eucalyptus well i didn't think it, you guys would make a big deal about it and like ask me about it I it just, looks like you have like a tiny bottle of like morphine or something in here fucking like a little coke bullet i'm fucking it's, no, it's, it's just so weird looking there's like a hint of pine in it or something. yeah give it don't 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 melt it all up give me some oh, of it. Melon it yeah it's like a i thought it was the cutest little bottle ever she asked me if i want a sample i'm like yeah yeah i'll take a sample I might dab some of that like on my my upper lip just so I can I don't have to hold this. <laughs> yeah, I'll dab it. Dab. <laughs> dab. Oh shit. Anyways, what were you? You told me before the show that you wanted to talk about something today that could possibly derail this entire podcast. Oh, it, it, there's a huge possibility. Completely blow out of the water half of our audience and. Make us not friends anymore. Yeah, it's it's that big. Oh, All right, what is. I'm so, I'm I'm ready for this. So I need to preface this first, okay? So for this is for the fans, okay? 
and it's something that we need to get off our chest early if we want to be successful podcasters. That people need to know this about us. They need to know the most important thing about us. Okay. What's that? What is that? What do y'all feel about pizza? Because oh, no. this, Jesus Christ. I know. This dead horse, we're about to beat it. All right. What do you, what about pizza? What okay. A, how do well, I feel? first I off, I like pizza. If you're just asking me, first in general, off, to any listeners I, I in Chicago, deep dish is not pizza. It's a goddamn lasagna. Okay. Get over it. Nah, but the thing is, the thing claim. is, no, that is a true claim. That it's is a, not a bold claim. It's a bowl of marinara sauce, is what it is. It's, it's, not, exact, it's not lasagna. Lasagna has noodles. It might as well just be a fucking lasagna. But Look, anyway, I, I, real quick. I ate at a place, if you're listening to this in Chicago, you probably know what I'm talking about, or, you or maybe... You shouldn't be bragging about your pizza, because oh, it's not pizza. No, it's, but anyway. it's much better. It's more... It's no, like it's a, garbage. It, it's, it can't be called pizza. It's transcended that, it is the transcended title of pizza. pizza. It really has. <laughs> it's Giordano's. There's a pl- restaurant called Giordano's. I, I went there a long time ago, when we took a vacation up to Chicago, and dude, it. I mean, it changed pizza for me forever, because it, it's... You picture a deep dish, what we call a deep dish, or or what you call it wherever, is just a lot of crust. I mean, it's kind of still the same toppings. Their deep dish, I mean... (laughs) Yeah, it's just a bunch of bread with cheese on top. No, it's not. No, no, I'm saying saying here, a deep dish is just two and a half inches of bread. But an authentic deep dish? It's like a pot that's just filled with like cheese and and big chunks of meat. Exactly. It sounds like a goddamn lasagna. it's, It's just transcended pizza (laughs) but anyway what brought this on was i was at work today okay i had to work a saturday which fucking sucked but i got a really cool manager okay he spent seventeen hundred dollars out of his own pocket and bought us all pizza and i was sitting there thinking as I was eating how all do I, this, How do I apply for this dude's job? Who the dude, fuck he can makes afford a that? Shit t- and he gave the pizza dude a $200 tip. I mean, that that seems a little low, though, for $1,700. No, <laughs> I mean, that's I a lot of complain. money. I wouldn't complain. I mean, I wouldn't either, but... Dude, that's like his whole week's paycheck. <laughs> it's just <laughs> one tip. My manager's cool as fuck. But anyway, uh, as I was eating this pizza, I was sitting there thinking. I was like, I mean, this pizza's pretty good. It was... It was Jet's Pizza, by the way. Oh, I was about to ask. I was, was about Jet's to ask. Is this, is this Little Caesar's Pizza? No, nah, this, was, this was a little bit above Little dollars in Little Caesar to be serious. Yeah, you could fill up the Titanic with that. That's but it, it, was, uh, it, was, it was Jet's Pizza. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I was sitting there thinking. I was like, I wonder what the guys think about pizza. I know a little bit about what Mantis thinks, especially about pineapple. Because that's... Do you? That fucking, do, you, do, you know what I, do you know what I think? Because we've talked about this before, but... Pineapple is not a goddamn topping. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Gordon Ramsay has said that. Gordon Ramsay, listen, yeah, he's also he said Ramsay that pineapple is a, does not a go on prick. pizza. He's a he's just a really oh, uh, a wait, real wait piece I'm of gonna shit. Uh, no, I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, look, I love Gordon Ramsay. First of all, I love Gordon Ramsay, but he's not a fucking American. He doesn't have. There's yeah. nothing American. There's nothing Europe. He's got Michelin stars. It doesn't matter. It doesn't he doesn't matter. fucking just because he knows how to how to poach an egg and a. To, to braise fucking salmon or whatever cooking and cream cheese. Had, had yeah. a reduction. I don't know. How, 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 yeah, just know because he knows how to deglaze a cast iron skillet with a, a nice white wine, that doesn't mean that he knows anything about pizza. Everybody, he's out of his element when it comes to pizza. See, I, I don't disagree with a lot of toppings. I even accept anchovies, even though I would probably Wait, no, never eat it. Okay. I feel like that is a, even a better topping because it's a meat. Okay, it's, the fruits meat. Not, if you want to call it meat, it's like ninety five percent oil, pungent oil. You might as well be drinking truffle oil. I mean, you know I don't is. care, but the, 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 I wouldn't eat it. But the thing is, I would accept it as a topping because fruit does not belong on a goddamn pizza. F- tomato is a fruit. Tomato I don't count a that as a fruit. It doesn't fucking matter what you count as a fruit. It a tomato is a fruit. The entire base is without. No, this to- is the goddamn globalist. Want to change tomatoes into fruits? Look, it's with, bullshit. With it's been, been vegetables for years. On this show. It's been vegetables for years, and then they want to fucking Says change who? it to fruit. Says who? Kindergartners that don't know how to wipe their ass from front to back? Like, fucking you, you bullshit. don't. No. Uh, without tomatoes, a pizza is just a hunk of fucking bread. It, it's a Dude, sandwich. And don't even without, get me started. It's missing a piece of bread. Yeah, don't, it's an open face sandwich. That's Dude. all it is. <laughs> Dude, don't even get me started, man. Like, 
One thing that's even worse than pineapple pizza is calling a dessert pizza a pizza. That is not even close to a pizza. Okay. Well, I can, I can, I guess I can get on board with that. Well, it depends. What? It's only pizza no. in shape. That's it. Well, it, then everything round is pizza. Then no, Every, not your pizza, you round face fuck. <laughs> I'm not a pizza. <laughs> but anyway, I don't accept that, and I don't accept pineapple. Okay. So what does it? What I does stand. it matter? What does it matter? Why can't people just like what they like? Because words matter, Mantis. Okay, your words matter. So what if I just make up a word? What if I'm just. Sh- Schlack and fucking what? What is that? What is that? What does that word matter? I don't know. You probably cuss somebody out in does, German. Does yeah, that, that's how I was thinking that. Does that, <laughs> does, does that word matter? It probably does. Probably. Well, you can't take probably to the fucking bank and cash it. Well, I'm just saying if we need to be real clear here. Okay. I just think I'd like to know where you Can got I just the yeah what energy. What? I want to make it real clear my views on pineapple and pizza. Good. I want to get your all, your all's views because so the people can hate you. For having I have terrible very, views. I have very specific views. It's probably going to make people hate me even worse, and I'm fine with that. Well, here, first, before you do it, you smell, get some eucalyptus to yeah, get you well. going. <laughs> smell. All right, all right you, want, you want some th- box? No, I'm already worked up. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, so, okay, go. Pineapple on a regular pizza, like just your regular like pepperoni pizza with pizza sauce, cheese, pepperoni, mm-hmm. is not good, and it does not go on that. Exactly, exactly. Because oh. the blend of, like, zesty Italian pizza sauce with, you know, succulent lately, creamy sweet. cheese and, and it's crisp crisp baked pepperonis, it, that, that, yeah, I'm not big on that. Yeah. Wait, um, is pepperoni, the, the most, wait, is pepperonis, is that the plural, or is it just pepperoni? Pepperona. I believe. I think it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's like octopi. Yeah. Yeah, we're Pe- taking the pepperoni. Uh, but the the most popular one, ham ham and pineapple and, and yeah. just regular pizza sauce well, and that, cheese. That's no, like, can't, I can't get on board with that either. No, that's not, no I can't well, either. Let Look, me tell you, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me going, tell you go. exactly where I will allow pineapple on a pizza. It's my favorite pizza order. Oh, I'm going to get so much flack for this. It's a first off. It's a thin crust. That's where you fucked up already. Oh, I'm already. Hey, 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 I humor him here. I like some thin crust. Chicken. Things. Okay. Okay. We're mm-hmm. on to something. Bacon. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds good. Good, good, good. Regular good. cheese. You just do your regular cheese, and then replace the pizza sauce with barbecue sauce. See what? See. And uh, throw I... some pineapple on there. Chicken, bacon, pineapple, so, barbecue. So look. Uh, so I, I can understand. the barbecue sweet and it just so look that's a good I've had your pizza I've had that yeah, pizza that it's is good. a good pizza but except for the pineapple I have look, to take no, it off no look pineapple is just like anything do you guys like mustard yeah love mustard well, okay things. would you eat mustard on, on a nice bowl of chocolate ice cream hell no I Fuck. would put I would put White Castle's Dusseldorf mustard on almost yeah. anything yeah is it Dussel or Dussel I don't know. I thought it was Dussel. Jeff or Dussel. I've said, I've said Dusseldorf all the time. They always give me the mustard. They know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, guess, yeah. I guess words don't matter that much. You can, but you can God ask damn it. for... Words matter. Pineapple. Chef and Falcon or whatever you said, yeah, and they'll yeah. give it to you. Pineapple is just like anything. You don't go throwing pepperoni on top of a strawberry shortcake. Exactly. So, so pineapple has its place on pizza. Yeah, you just have certain. to have the right arrangement of toppings. There's no... There's no fucking rules when it comes to that as long as this is what this is what dictates whether or not it's a pizza it has a fucking crust whether thick thin 12 inches of bread whatever it has some sort of sauce base mm-hmm. you know because i don't i think it's degenerate when people put the sauce on top of the stuff i've seen oh that. my well, that's god that's the way the giadonos was it was on top of it under okay it has its place whatever yeah. no. it has its place but Taking a really libertarian stance on this one, Mantis. Look, man, all I want is for people to be able to... I am a dictator I want, when it comes to pizza. I want people to be able to, to Enjoy pack pizza. guns wherever the fuck they want. I want people to be able to marry, fuck, whatever, do it, do, marry whoever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Eat whatever pizza you like. When but, it comes to this one issue, I am goddamn Mussolini, okay? <laughs> C- cut the taxes. Okay, when I, I will be the Italian dictator. There, there are certain things that just don't, just don't do it. Just don't do it on a pizza, okay? Well, what do you care what somebody does in the privacy of their own bedroom with a pineapple? <laughs> I mean, I don't. And the thing is, I don't even have a pineapple up my. I don't even have a problem with pineapple. Like I love pineapple. It just doesn't go on a pizza. I'm, so, I'm, I don't. I just don't think that you 
you haven't been. You must be stupid or something. You just must not. Hey, you stupid or something? There must be Mm-mm. something that you're missing. You just haven't experienced. No, 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 no. I experienced. Uh, it, I experienced enough of the world to know. I've experienced. I've e- I've eaten so many pizzas, so many pizzas. The box. I hate eating. You know what? There's nothing in this world that makes me feel like lesser of a man <laughs> than eating fucking pizza with box. Every time box and I have gotten a pizza, I don't know if he puts in a special order for them to make it so piping hot it could melt through concrete. <laughs> But every time we get pizza, it is so hot. I can't touch, I can't look at it without getting sunburn on my fucking corneas. I'm not joking. And I'm it, already, I'm already on my fifth slice. The pizza's so hot and Box can literally take it. It's like the cartoons. He'll take the pizza and he'll just shove it into his mouth. And you'll see his finger go in his mouth to the, <laughs> shoving it to the back of his throat. He doesn't even have to it chew. Up. Yeah, it's just gone. It's like a pizza. It, he literally can bite into it and allow, you know, some people, they have teeth that aren't sensitive like me, and you, they can bite into ice cream and it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, yeah. Box can take mm. a boiling vat of hot pizza cheese and sauce, put it in his mouth, and let it sit on the roof of his mouth, and it doesn't do anything. Oh, that's <laughs> when it's at its if, best. If it lands on my fucking leg or something, it leaves blisters. It's so Third hot. degree burn. Not joking. It melts my fucking face off just looking at it. I think I've just done like and, a lot of training because I get the same thing. Like, if the sauce lands on my hand, it'll start burning my hand. But if I get it in my mouth, mm, I think I'm you're perfect. like, par- he's like partially paralyzed or something. He's hey, probably, <laughs> and, <laughs> probably am. I'm probably doing irreparable damage to my yes, body. Yes, and literally, I'll be one bite. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, not even a little bit. I know I have a tendency to be hyperbolic sometimes, but literally... I can be on my first bite of pizza, and Box has already eaten two and a half pieces. Yeah. Literally, I'm not joking. <laughs> it's gone. His half of the pizza, because we're, we're fat fucks, literally, literally <laughs> hey, we, hey, hey. we eat half of a pizza. <laughs> and sometimes, if it's just me, and I know that no one's going to find out about it, I'll eat a whole pizza. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what We've I, all done it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah one hope. of those, those sad, sad good. days. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good day. Bro. Yeah, that's a pretty good day. <laughs> yeah, but from the outside, it looks pretty pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> from uh, from a health standpoint, that's yeah, when you that's it. when you just you know close the blinds. Yeah, you're yeah. just like oh, this one's all to put myself. Put some Lionel Richie on the record yeah, put, player. Yeah, put Lionel Richie on, <laughs> just stripped down to nothing but like a banana hammock, and just really just. Wait, you look. wear you wear you wear banana hammocks? Hey. You don't worry about what I do, but <laughs> hey, you, hey, I don't, I don't <laughs> care what pine, what you're doing with a pineapple and a banana. You're trying to peek in those blinds, see what's going on in there. I hey, just what, stare hey, at my pineapple hey. pizza for a good little while. Uh, hey, wouldn't that like, wait? Wouldn't hey. that be a degenerate pizza? A pizza with banana on it. Oh, I mean, that's what we need to be talking about. The people that do that, do people do that? I don't think so. You know what? I bet you there's a motherfucker out there that I bet, does. I bet there's some stupid, stupid, poor, lost soul. <laughs> Out there in the ether, <laughs> just puts a whole pill and all, just throws a banana right on top of the pizza. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like eating like a a smushy shoe. A smushy. I'm already a degenerate when it comes to food because I like coleslaw. Hey, that's no, like, that's not ge- degenerate. No, I love coleslaw. Ask the internet. Uh, I see so many coleslaw yeah, hating I'm memes. Not a, I'm not a big fan of the inter- it, the but inter- I don't hate that. Look, the internet also has a tendency to be very anti-Semitic, and like, <laughs> <That's> you know, <true. laughs> so I don't want to ask. As long them as CNN any- doesn't find out, uh, yeah, oh yeah, then they'll blackmail you. Yeah, I'm like, oh Mantis, you won't believe what he eats on his pizza. You won't believe what he does with it. He, <laughs> that's, that's we're gonna good. we're gonna post it live. <laughs> post it live, Mantis and Box eating this the super secret anti-Semitic pizza. The table with the pepperonis in the shape of a Nazi symbol. Oh God. Anyway, anyway, then. <laughs> All right, Doc, what you got? Uh, got a little bit of a complaint this week. It was, it's a bane. It's a bane in my existence. It pisses me off. It's something I don't like. A lot of things piss me off, man. Man, I'm on the edge all the time. <laughs> anyway, and th- this is another one. I'm curious to get y'all's input on this. So, bathroom windows. Oh, no. I don't like a bathroom windows. Look, so as a guy, I think I think we're all we can all agree on this to a degree. You know, you go in the bathroom, it is your place of of solitude. It's where you forget the rest of the world exists. You get your you just go in there, it's just you, your porcelain throne, 
you got your phone or your book or whatever, your music, something. Or if you're unlucky and you forgot your phone, shampoo bottles. Yeah, I mean, back, <laughs> yeah. back in the old days. I want to read phones. a cereal box on yeah. the show. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so you go in there, you just want to be alone. You just forget the rest of the world for a while. And, uh, but for some reason that experience is ruined for me whenever there's a big bat or a big window in the bathroom. Yeah. And, and I understand most of them bathroom windows are like frosted mm-hmm. to where you can't really see in or out of them. That, that's, that's complaint A. Why put it there if you can't, if it serves no, if it's, it's ambient, frosted. It's ambient lighting. Yeah, it's, it's a nice a natural fucking, lighting. I don't know, put a lamp in there. Put a fucking candle. What, are you some, are you afraid Ned Flanders is going to be like, how do they do Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like legitimately. Look, I, I'm going in. in there like, I, I want to be alone. I'm, I'm in my, like I said, your your fortress of solitude. And then you just have this big window and you're like, oh, oh what if someone, what if someone comes in? The worst one, I, uh, it was actually at an old house of mine. It had one literally like in the shower. Yeah. Like yeah. what what the fuck? Like I don't want Dude, that sounds my neighbors... great to me. I'd like to like to be able to open it up and vent the steam out. Dude. Oh, well, no, dude. Es- especially Manchus is a voyeur. Especially since like <laughs> it, it you can hear more sounds coming from the outside. So you while Sound you're trying to take like... a shit, you're hearing some dude. Like next door, mowing his lawn. Mowing his lawn. Yeah, it's I like wanna... I don't want to hear that. Well, that's that that, that that's not the windows problem. Like I, I that is the, the windows, windows problem. No, the it problem is. is you live in a in a bad area. What if you if you live out in the woods and all you hear is like birds tweeting and shit, some chirping? I mean that might be all right, but I, I don't know, man. I, don't, I want the trees to see me doing my business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, the, the woodland do... the woodland creatures. They God, might ju- God's judge me. God's man. creatures. Yeah, we can't so. have them watching us. But no, I just there's something about it. I don't like it, and I just again I don't see a point. It's it's frosted. You can't really see in or out of it. I totally just, agree. I don't like it. Like if you're an architect, stop doing that. If a person requests it, I don't know. Call him a sick fuck. I mean, like, unless wait, wait, you want you want your neighbor's kids to see in the bathroom, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Doc's over here doing handstands to expose himself well, just so he I can mean, get his junk up high enough. Maybe to I want to. Maybe put it I want to get the window, yeah. smash it into the window. <laughs> you telling me you've never want to try to take a piss while doing a handstand? Am I the only person? I mean, no, nah, no, nah, man. I only sit down to pee. Oh so. God! Oh <laughs> just, God! God. Hand in the man play. card. Oh, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I guess like it, I would even go a step further. Like I think in my dream home, like my dream bathroom. I think if I were to like design my dream home, my I would put a lot of attention to detail in my bathroom. I just I like oh, the bathroom, yeah. man. It's my time of peace, and I like I, I've seen a few bathrooms with it. It's like a bathroom you got your shower and stuff. Um, I, I've I've heard some people talk about it before. It, bathrooms, it's another flawed design because you don't want to like go to clean yourself and have your toothbrush and everything else laying out in the same room that you take fucking shits in. Yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of the bathroom with like an additional room, a toilet room inside of it, like a door, yeah. like a room with a door. What, is it like a, like a hotel? Like a fucking shitty yeah. Motel 8? Well, no. I mean, you still have your full bathroom, like nice big bathroom. Yeah. And you have a little door with just a toilet in there, a nice fan and that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, it's still, yeah, we it's, it's a courtesy. Know. It's a courtesy. We, we've established that. But in a nice ambient light inside of there, and you close that door, and it's just you and the porcelain throne and some reading material. Yeah, no you windows. Can just relax. No windows. No neighbors to to spot. No woodland creatures. I totally agree nice. with this. Yeah, I don't. Maybe, in, maybe I, I like a, I like a little I like nature to be imbued into my my toilet experience. I want it to be as close to outside as possible. Because if if I have the opportunity, if I have the choice between pissing in a toilet and going outside and just letting the wind free, not caring where I aim, I'll, I'll pick outside every single time. <sighs> Fucking, I'll know. pick outside every single time. I'm trying to get back to the basic the basics of what makes men men and. I want to be shitting in the woods like a bear. I mean, I like the but, sentiment, yeah. but yeah, it's, in, it's, in reality, I don't. No, 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 no. Mm. no, no, no. I love, I love my secluded bathroom yes. away from the world. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to. I, I'm part of the world, so I want to just. I want to continue. I want my bathroom experience to reflect that. You guys are. You guys are just. You guys are fucking misguided. I don't know. You guys are just a bunch of degenerates, and we have went way over. And I, yeah. I don't. I don't really have time to. Talk about any of my weird, crazy stories of the other things that happened this week. We'll save it for next. So we'll save it for next week. 
But anyways, in the meantime, you've been listening to the Mantis Show with Box Doc and me, Mantis, your host. And you guys, thank you so much for all your support out there, all you listeners out there in the ether everywhere, all, all of our followers on Twitter. You guys are great. If you haven't followed us on Twitter, find us at The Mantis Show. Also, we're on Facebook as well, at The Mantis Show. And now YouTube. Well. And now YouTube. Check us out. We'll try to get the links up for all of that. You can uh, have a little video stream of the podcast. It's just a picture. It's not It's not really us, but whatever. Um, subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave us a rating. We're on Google Play, wherever else you can find it. And uh, tell your friends, your family, your cousin, your aunt, your dog to come tune in. See you next week. See ya.